no, no, no.
let's not waste any time. I'm Schmitty, this is Quiplash, and we're on Earth. I think that about covers it. Okay, folks, welcome to your worst nightmare, but in a good way. Time for round one. You'll score points based on the percentage of people who prefer your answer. Have at it. Okay, it's time for some quip lashing. Starting things off, the worst name for an SUV. Coming up next, something you don't expect to see when you spy on your neighbors. It's voting time. And next, a place where you're not likely to spot Bigfoot. Time to vote. Next one, a reason to travel back in time to two weeks ago. Next up, what makes hot dogs taste so good? It's voting time. Okay, next one. A better name for France. Next in line, if a winning coach gets Gatorade dumped on his head, what should get dumped on the losing coach? Powerade. We're just happy to get our name out there. 
Round one is in the books. Let's see the scores. It's now time for round two. Everything is worth double, twice as much.
Hello, I'd like to welcome almost all of you to Quiplash. Well, that's everybody, I guess. Have fun and keep your hands where I can see them. This is round one. You get points based on the percentage of people who like your answer, and a bonus if you get more votes than your opponent. Go! Take a look. Our first prompt is a phrase you would love to hear Morgan Freeman say. Okay, pick your favorite. Coming up next, the best prize you could find in a Cracker Jack box. Vote on your devices. Next up, a bad reason to call 911. Time to vote. Next one, a not very scary name for a pirate. It's voting time. And next, the one thing you wish a politician would just say already. Vote on your devices.
And next is a great way to start a conversation with a weird loner on the subway. Time to vote. Okay, next one. A dangerous thing to do while driving. It's voting time. That's all for round one. Here's the scoreboard. Mm -hmm. Round two is straight ahead, and that means all points are doubled. Okay, here we go. The first prompt is the worst thing you could stuff a bed mattress with. Okay, voting time. Pick your favorite. Horsemen wouldn't be as scary if they were the four blank men of the apocalypse. Vote on your devices. Next one, a terrible name for a 1930s gangster. It's voting time.
Next up, three things MacGyver needs to make a bomb. Time to vote. Coming up next, on your wedding night, it would be horrible to find out that the person you married is blank. Vote on your devices. And next, the hit song from the Broadway show, Fart the Musical. It's voting time. Next in line, a clever thing for James Bond to say as he throws someone out of an airplane. Time to vote. We've reached the end of round two. Let's see what happened. <laughs> this is round three, the last lash. One final chance to catch up. Point values are tripled, and everyone gets the same prompt this time. Your prompt is... Rename any famous work of literature so that it is ruined by the word but. And here's what you did. Hand out your votes.
That's the end. Let's see the final scoreboard.
It is time for a ride on the Quiplash Wagon. Let's see who we got. Thanks for starting this game, guys. Got me out of jury duty. Let's get going. Time for round one. You'll score points based on the percentage of people who prefer your answer. Have at it. Okay, it's time for some quip lashing. Starting things off, an inappropriate thing for a detective to say at a crime scene. Okay, everyone, vote for your favorite. Next up, name a TV drama that's about a vampire doctor. Vote on your devices. Rejected name for a ship in the U.S. Naval Fleet, the USS Blank. It's voting time. Next one, the grossest thing you'd put in your mouth for $18. Time to vote. And next, something that will get you thrown out of a Wendy's. Vote on your devices.
coming up next. A good name for an elderly nudist colony. Okay, next one. A bad place to skinny dip. That's round one. Let's take a look at the scores. Mm -hmm. On to round two, where all points are doubled. Doubled, I say. Start this show. First up, a street name you never see. Okay, voting time. Pick your favorite. name for a hospital. Vote on your devices. Next one, the worst words to say for the opening of a eulogy at a funeral. Time to vote. Obnoxious name someone could give their kid. It's voting time. Ah! 
coming up next. A trick you shouldn't teach your dog. Vote on your devices. Next up, something that would make a creepy replacement for the horses on a merry-go-round. Time to vote. with a really bad TV show that starts with baby. Coming up next, coming soon to a theater near you, Benedict Cumberbatch is blank. It's voting time. That's the end of round two. Let's take a look at the scores. <laughs> Welcome to the last lash, the final round. Stakes are tripled. There's just one prompt, and you're all getting it. Your last lash prompt is... The best use for a leftover meatball. See the responses. Apply your votes.
That's all. Now for the final scores. Hey there, Schmitty here. You there, Schmitty here, yes. All right, feeling good, you guys? Well, we'll see if we can fix that. Let's go. This is round one. You score based on the percentage of players who like your answer. Plus, there are winner's bonuses at stake. Go. Okay, here we go. Our first prompt is... Turns out the meaning of life is blank. Okay, pick your favorite. Next one, a better name for dandruff. Time to vote. Ah! 
And next, what kittens would say if they could talk? Vote on your devices. Okay, next one. Something you probably shouldn't bring on a trip across the Sahara Desert. It's voting time. Next in line, the worst theme for your kid's first dance recital. Time to vote. Next up, what really cracked the Liberty Bell? Vote on your devices. And next, the worst name for a big and tall store. It's voting time. That's the end of round one. Let's take a look at the scores. <laughs> Time for round two, where everything is worth two times as much as that silly round one. Okay, it's time for some quip lashing. First one, a little known way to get gum out of your hair. Okay, everyone, vote for your favorite.
Okay, next one. A good post music career for Justin Bieber. Vote on your devices. Coming up next, a bad campaign slogan for a congressperson. Time to vote. Next one, something that is currently legal that should be banned. Vote on your devices. And next is brand name of a bottled water sold in the land of Oz. It's voting time. Next one, the worst material from which to make a pair of pajamas. Time to vote. Okay, next one. What a dog sexed message might say. Vote on your devices. And next? Okay, fine. What do you want to talk about then? Time to vote. And that's all for round two. Fire up the scoreboard. <laughs> and now round three, the last lash. Point values are tripled and you'll all be answering the same prompt this time. Our prompt is the best part about being Donald Trump.
Okay, soak it in. Vote away. That's it. Let's take a look at the final scores.
This is Quiplash. I'm Schmitty, and you're an acceptable group of players. Oh, man. Just once can I pop up on Tom Hanks TV? Well, you'll do. Let's go. Time for round one. You get points based on the percentage of people who like your answer, and a bonus if you get more votes than your opponent. Go! Take a look. Our first prompt is a bad one-word slogan for a presidential campaign. Next up, something you should never say to your mother. It's voting time. Next in line, life would be so much better if we all lived in blank. Vote on your devices. Coming up next, everyone knows there's no such thing as blank. Time to vote. Next one, the name of a hairstyle that will never catch on. Vote on your devices.
the biggest issue facing the town of Margaritaville. Okay, next one. Why should you never turn your back on a penguin? It's voting time. Next up, something that would not work as well as skis. <laughs> That's all for round one. Here's the scoreboard. It's time for round two, where all point values are doubled. That's right, doubled. Let's start this show. The first prompt is, where's the best place to hide from the shadow monsters? Okay, voting time, pick your favorite. Next in line, how do you like it? And next is, the least romantic place to propose marriage. Vote on your devices. Coming up next, a new name for kumquats. 
time to vote. Sleepwalking can be a problem, but it's not as bad as sleep blank. Next up, an image that would make the Sistine ass. Wacky nuns. Next in line, everyone knows that monkeys hate blank. Vote on your devices. Round two is now complete. Let's see who completed it well. <laughs> Welcome to the last lash, the final round. Stakes are tripled. There's just one prompt, and you're all getting it. The prompt is... A terrible food truck would be one that goes around selling only blank. Everybody's in. Vote with your votes now.
That's the end. Let's see the final scoreboard.
Theme song, check. Schmitty, check. Players. Okay, good. Now, if I don't remember your names, please feel free to take it personally. This is round one. You'll score points based on the percentage of people who prefer your answer. Have at it. Okay, it's time for some quip lashing. Starting things off, a new word for people that drive too slow in the fast lane. Next one, what Bigfoot complains about to his therapist the most. It's voting time. Okay, next one. A name for a brand of designer adult diapers. And next is... It's disappointing to put together a 1,000 piece puzzle and realize it's just a picture of blank. Time to vote. Next up, what deer would use for bait if they hunted hunters? Vote on your devices. Round one is in the books. Let's see the scores. Mm -hmm. Round 
two time, and to make it interesting, I'm doubling all the point values. You heard me. Okay, here we go. First up, the worst thing to say when trying to adopt a pet. And next, what Chewbacca has really been yelling all these years. Time to vote. Coming up next, something you promise to yell if you win this game. Next in line, what dogs think when they see people naked. It's voting time. And that's all for round two. Fire up the scoreboard. <laughs> this is round three, the last lash. One final chance to catch up. Point values are tripled, and everyone gets the same prompt this time. The last flash prompt is... It would be scary to read on a food package. May contain trace elements of blank.
right, we're ready. Give out your votes now. That's all. Now for the final scores.
Sure, sure, sure. 